so it's time to replace your reaction chambers. Just wait, you'll see it's a snap. First, slip the grill off the front of the unit, and then remove the old reaction chambers. Just click these thumb tabs away, and our reaction chamber pops right out. Next, let's open the box our replacement chambers came in. One quick note, you'll want to hang on to the shipping container and the materials used to protect the replacement chambers so you can return the old reaction chambers for recycling. And yes, there's a return label inside the box your new ones came in, so find it and set it aside too. Okay, let's look at the replacement chambers. They're labeled A and B. B goes into the bottom slot here, and A goes here in the top slot. Not to worry, you can't mix them up. Each one has a unique shape that only fits in its own slot. Okay, we're just about finished. We just need to remove the labels from the chamber tops before we replace the grill. Now we just slip the grill back into place and the installation is complete. With that taken care of, get the box the replacements came in and let's repack it with the used chambers. The packing material that came with the new chambers will help protect the expired ones. Now we'll just slip this last piece over the tops of the chambers and close the lid. We need to turn the box around so the opening is at the back and the return label is over here where it won't be damaged when the box is reopened. We'll set our air aside back here on the buffet, plug it in, and turn it on. And that's all there is to it. You won't need to think about it until this time next year.